Welcome back to Just One Question, the increasingly informal uh, and uh, long-haired series of interviews I'm doing with with folks uh, who are friends of Public Words. And I'm really thrilled today to have Christopher O'Donnell with me. Uh, Christopher is the Chief Product Officer at HubSpot, one of my favorite companies. They're based here in the Boston area, as am I. Um, And he's also a songwriter and guitarist for the providers.com. So go check out his musical career online. Uh, Christopher, welcome. Uh, Let's just start by checking in as I do with everybody. Tell me how you're doing and and how you're coping with this this strange uh, time. Well, Nick, thanks for having me. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, It's always good to have an excuse for us to to be face-to-face here, even virtually. Um, I'm doing the basics, you know, I'm, I'm cooking and uh, homeschooling the kids as best as I can, washing my hands a lot and um, trying to stay, stay on the far side of the street when I walk my dog. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks. Uh, and are you baking bread? Uh, because uh, every time I go to the grocery store, they're out of yeast. So if you're baking bread, you're one of those people that uh, have, have bought out all the yeast. And as a result, I'm having to make cake instead of bread. This is a truly... <laughs> A truly think, uh, Marie Antoinette moment for me. Yeah, no, cupcakes are about as close as we get. Cupcakes are, are beautiful. I'm so glad you're making those. Okay, so uh, thanks, for, thanks for making the time. Um, and uh, I have just one question for you, as I have for everybody. This is an unprecedented time. Uh, and in unprecedented times, we instinctively look back to our experience, our, our, our expertise uh, uh, to figure out how we should respond. And I just wonder what in your fascinating background as a technologist and a musician, um, do you find helps you get through this weird uh, and unprecedented time? Wow, Um, that's a great question, a really good question. Well, you know, I'm I'm in charge of this team these days and and the team's gotten rather large and we don't have the benefit anymore of sitting next to each other and being able to, to lean over and have a casual conversation or perhaps run into each other in the hallways or break bread, you know. And so that, that's the biggest shift uh, for me in my role is, you know, trying to keep a team productive or safe, happy, some, you know, the right, uh, the mix of those things. I think family safety comes first through all of this. But uh, how to keep the team kind of focused and, and positive. And, and you know a little bit about this. You know our team fairly well. We have an interesting approach to leadership. Um, and, you know, we, we could have done it many different ways, but as we built the team, we've really leaned into storytelling and we've leaned into what a lot of people would call a, a distributed leadership model where we put an outsized, I think to many it would seem like a, a surprising um, amount of trust in our frontline people. And the only way you can do that is to invest and redouble constantly your efforts in the storytelling of what the work is that you're asking them to do, but why and for whom and for what benefit and what is the business context of that work and you know all of the existential questions about why we exist as a company because without all of that context, it's really not fair to give people the level of autonomy and, and power that we give people on the front lines. And so now in this, in this world, I think we're very glad that we have chosen that route um, because you know, the people who maybe have less time to come to, to their work and, and to try to make an impact and, and also find some rewards in that work on a personal level, Um, are equipped with a lot more context and a lot deeper background to make decisions in an autonomous way. Um, And, you know, clearer pathways of communication when conversations need to happen. So we have a quirky style of leadership and management um, and it's, it's serving us well right now. So I'm I'm glad we kind of went down that path. Plus it's fun. That's excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. The, the, I always knew I loved HubSpot and, and this is yet another reason and I hadn't quite put it together that way before, but that, that uh, emphasis, as you say, on storytelling really allows you to keep the connection strong uh, because it is stories uh, that uh, that 
give us our lives meaning as human beings uh, and have uh, for thousands and thousands of years. So this is just, in that sense, the latest iteration of, of, uh, of storytelling now in a strange, strange new setting. So I hope that that helps uh, uh, some other people in businesses uh, a little bit. And thanks very much for that, for that great answer. Thanks, Dick. I look forward to seeing you in person when this is all over. 